Makai Becton's been working at right tackle, and here's why that's a big deal. What is going on, Jet fans? Matt O'Leary back with another video. Just want to make sure that you follow along with me on social media at Matt O'Leary NY and make sure to check out the Just Jets podcast that I do. Every single Wednesday, new episode drops tomorrow. I am looking forward to it. So here is why Mekhi Becton playing right tackle is a big deal, or at least practicing right tackle is a big deal. Thanks to Dan Lieberfield, he had a video of Mekhi Becton uh, practicing at right tackle last week off to the side during OTAs. So in Becton's recovery, he was not 100% cleared to be back ready for action, which is okay. You didn't really see Brees Hall either uh, or some other guys who were recovering from injury. But the expectation, I would imagine, is for Makai Becton to come back and play somewhere on the offensive line in training camp as they begin to ramp things up and get their preseason and regular season schedule coming in, in just a couple of months here. In a couple of months time now specifically why Becton doing reps at right tackle is a story well not that long ago Makai Becton first tweeted out that he is a left tackle uh, and then in a tell-all with Newsday he blamed switching to right tackle for his injury so it appeared like he has made it very very clear where he wants to play and what his stance is he views himself as a left tackle and that's the position that he wants to play Robert Sala, in the midst of all of this, pretty much all but said Dwayne Brown is going to be the left tackle. He said that Dwayne is going to be a tough out, meaning it would be hard for anyone in a competition to beat him out for the starting job. Now, what I would imagine, right? You'd have to think one of those two guys would then play right tackle, whichever one is not starting at left tackle. Dwayne Brown has not played that position since college, and he's been in the NFL since 2008. So you're looking at 15 plus a decade and a half of going without playing or practicing that position. A guy, even though he may not like it, played that position in college, which he was in college. I think the 2017, 2018 was the last time he played that at a collegiate level and was training to play that position in 2022 before the injury, obviously, as George Fant came in and played well at left tackle in 2021 during his absence. Uh, that was going to be the plan. Again, have them, you know, have Becton play right tackle, Fant play left tackle, and that was going to be the way to go. Uh, but unfortunately, Makai's injury came up. They signed Dwayne Brown. Uh, Fant gets hurt. Uh, you have Max Mitchell come in. And there are other options, right? Like you added for some depth Carter Warren in the NFL draft. You have Max Mitchell, who is recovering from blood clots. Uh, you brought in Billy Turner, who is familiar with not only Aaron Rodgers, but also Nathaniel Hackett, as he has spent time with Hackett with the Green Bay Packers and the Denver Broncos. So you do have other options if, for whatever reason, you're not going to end up with the pairing or the duo of Mekhi Becton and Dwayne Brown. It, it just, again, it kind of goes back to like reading the tea leaves of the, of the the story here and trying to put the puzzle pieces together. Many, myself included, are rooting for Makai Becton to win the left tackle job. I think that is the best case scenario if he plays well enough to unseat Dwayne Brown, uh, and then plays a full season, gets franchise tagged, gets extended, it remains healthy the rest of his career, and is a 10-year starter at the position. Obviously, that is best case scenario. I think that is too optimistic, at least for me, based on what we've seen from Makai uh, over the last couple of years. Injuries, unfortunately, have played a large factor in his career three years into it. He was solid as a rookie, but was banged up a little bit. And, you know, I, I didn't think that meant that he didn't, you know, have that left tackle job anymore, that he just lost it. That's it. It's over. But getting hurt and missing the majority of pretty much all but a half of a game. He played in week one in 2021 against the uh, Carolina Panthers, the first game of the season. Uh, Carolina not only wins, but there's unfortunately the injury because Greg Van Roten rolls up on him. He's hurt. Uh, the injury timeline gets skewed where it's like it's going to be a few weeks. Then it ends up being the entire season. We don't see him again. Uh, and then Mekhi Becton last year, the drama with his weight comes in, is going to play right tackle, hurts himself. Uh, and then you have him kind of pointing at the New York Jets and saying that he was pretty much told to just suck it up and, and play right tackle and that he wasn't feeling right. And then the injury came uh, so he feels slighted, and obviously they did not pick up his fifth-year option, the New York Jets. So he is playing in a contract year. This is a very big upcoming season for Mekhi Becton. 
it's worthwhile for him to start, right? Like he may want to play left tackle, but if your options are either back up Dwayne Brown at left tackle or change positions and play right tackle and start, you have to take the starting gig. He's trying to revive his career here. On a positive side, he's in the best shape of his life. Number one, which I'm happy for him. I'm rooting for him. I hope he stays healthy. And number two, he's at least working at the right side. So if it comes to it, which I think more than likely it will come to it, he can play on the right side. So let me know your thoughts on this down below in the comments. Thank you so much for tuning in. Once again, I am Matt O'Leary, and I will catch you next time.